in lesson 77, part five. We're out on the golf course and we're trying to break 80. Now, we haven't dropped a shot yet, to be honest. We've played three holes really well. And the fourth hole is a lovely little golf hole. It's only 340 yards long, slightly blind tee shot, and it's what's called an adverse camber dog leg. The dog leg, the hole runs from right to left. However, the ground runs from left to right, and that's a double whammy. Now it's tempting to have a go at this sort of hole because you think I can get very close. But if you, if you take that attitude on this particular tee shot, a bold shot is probably a dangerous shot. So I've called this little piece the hybrid to the rescue. So I've gone for my little rescue three, my hybrid. And why? Well, it's like a long iron. It's a shot that I can hit with draw quite easily. If I was looking for fade, I'd go for a straight face. So I want to work the ball from right to left. I want to counteract the left to right camber. One of the big temptations is when you're playing a dog like this is you get to the top and you come round with the body and drag the ball into the short part of the dog leg. I'm staying here in the middle of the tee and although the hole goes this way, I'm trying to see the ball start down the right center of the fairway. Okay, so I'm going to aim where I want the ball to finish. I go round my circle to the left and the only thought in my mind now is to move the ball from right to left. It's the shape of the shot that matters. Here we go. So I'm very pleased with the shot. I'll give myself eight and a half out of 10 for strike. It did draw, but you know what? It didn't draw sufficiently for the strength of the camber. So I'm probably in the right semi if I'm lucky. So, good decision, poor execution. That's probably the first poor execution of the four tee shots so far. Now, let's go and see what we can do with the second. Well, the only good thing we can say about this is that Simon, the cameraman and myself, we get protection from UV rays. We're in the shade. I've managed to miss the fairway despite my best efforts. I hit a little hybrid off the tee, didn't get enough draw spin, and I've just caught the edge of the trees. Now, I'm fortunate, I've missed this bush. Uh, the ball is lying fairly well. Now, the slope really worked against us off the tee shot. It's actually our friend now on the second shot. So this uh, flag and green are framed under the overhang of this lovely beech tree on the right. Now, I don't have to worry about the tree. If I just go left of it with a low shot, then the contours of the fairway are gonna take the ball around and down. Again, I'm not playing a hero shot here. There's no advantage. If it was lying well, the temptation might be to fly the tree, but I can't control what the ball's going to do after that. So, it's a little bit of a lottery, but let's have a ticket on our terms. We're going to play a low shot. So I'm going with the five iron. I'm going to pull the club up my sleeve, and I play a lots of cut spin. So I'm using a lot of bump and run here. I'm using the drive fairway to my advantage. And the key thing is to keep the ball low. So when you're hitting any shot, if you're going for a high shot, make sure you get the high part right. If you're going for a draw, make sure you get the draw and so on. So here's a low shot. If the ball comes up on me, I'm probably not gonna cut it and I might hit the tree. So low is key. Okay, club up my sleeve, blade pointing well left of the beech tree. And my swing is going to be severely out to in. I'm gonna hit as much slice as I can muster with this five iron. So here we go. Now you can see the ball curving. It's caught the shoulder, and there it is, running down towards the green. And the remarkable thing is that the send line, by the time the ball finished moving with the spin and with the bounce, it was probably moving at 90 degrees to match your swing path. It's quite amazing. That was like a Brazilian free kick, moving way from left to right. So my friend was the straight-faced five iron, up the sleeve and I gave as much cut spin as I could muster. And because I got the shape right, the lie of the land has done the rest for me. So, off an indifferent tee shot, a good second, I've got a chance of making a comfortable four. From this viewpoint, you can see how I executed the shot. I had to avoid this beech tree. There's actually a silver birch trunk and I was just to the left of that. So the ball came down on this line 
but the severe slope and the fade spin I gave it has worked it back down. So as Simon swings round now, you'll see what's happened. All of this area has gathered the ball, it's all worked for me, and I've got the ball within, I don't know, 20 feet of the flag. Let's find out in paces. So pacing it off, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So there we go, 18 feet. Straightforward putt. It'd just be nice on this occasion to get the ball to the hole. Just burn the left edge. But now, because I've gone past the hole, I know the break coming back, and that should give me a straightforward par four.